Because anak asuma sedaja and, str and stronger than children are, an abuse can suffer severe injury or death if an abuser intentionally causing such an injury. Shaking an infant can cause bleeding in the brain because they are very fragile, resulting in permanent brain damage or death. BCS is alternatively referred to as child physical abuse or an accidental trauma. The classification of this syndrome is not as well classified because it doesn't have uh, diagnosis and there is no research uh, directly uh, about this syndrome. So the causes or risk factor for this syndrome is uh, age, uh, development, developmental status, especially uh, children, the relationship between the child and the perpetrator, whether it is stranger, family, or even uh, their relative. How severe was the abuse, and how often and how long a child was abused, such as one year, and type of abuse and or neglect, such as physical abuse, sexual abuse, and neglection. So the clinical ma manifestation for this uh, syndrome is. First signs that there is delayed visit to the emergency room with an injured child, um, which is the abuser. They are late of informing uh, to the doctor that uh, their child is um, ill. Stuttering and explaining of the cause of a child's injury, whether the abuser uh, are the one who, who bring the child to the hospital. Bruises the shape of hand, fist or belt, cigarette bun, cigarette burns, lash marks, bruises or choke marks around the neck, unexplained unconsciousness, and symptom is uh, the child rather going to be aggressive, tend to get angry, tend to get angry, anxiety or fear, self-abusive behavior, and passive. Imaging modalities from plain X-ray, thoracic skeletal survey. This is the method of choice for global skeletal imaging in cases of suspected abuse. For ultrasound, differentiate complexity subdural from subarachnoid collection. And for MRI, best modality for fully assessing intracranial injuries such as uh, extra axial collection, contusion, shear injury, and, and brain swelling. For, t for CT scan, Perform a CT scan without intravenous contrast as part of the initial evaluation for suspected acute inflicted head injury. And this is the radiographic appearance for plan X ray. On the left, we have eggshell fractures in a child who died of cerebral injury after being thrown off, uh, off a height. And on the right, skull fractures closing in suture in a blue child. Skull fractures are common child abuse injuries, but they are also common in accidental trauma. Pattern of skull fracture that are suggest child abuse are multiple action fractures, occipital impression fractures, and fractures crossing sutures. And this is a radiographic appearance for ultrasound. It shows that hypoechoic subdural fluid collection, indicating an off subdural hematoma, the yellow arrow. And hyperechoic subdural mass, red arrow, as a result of a fresh subdural hematoma. And this is the MRI of the T1 weighted shows bilateral fluid collection as a result of chronic bilateral subdural hematomas and new subdural hematomas in the red frontal and posterior interhemispheric region. And this is for CT scan. This is a normal permanent tentorium in two infants. Normal variants. CT image shows slight bilateral symmetrical hyperactivation along the tentorium cerebrum. So the image consideration: uh, remove any metal objects, including jewelry, unnecessary hearing aids, non-permanent retainers, and having may affect the X-ray images. Uh, the infant also have to uh, to be sedated and anesthesia need to be given to infant or assess pediatric. Monitor patient during the procedure uh, going. Ensure the patient doctor or nurse accompany them with the examination room. And this is the forensics. So that's all for me. Thank you.